So just to finish meditating probably over an hour ago, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, and did the Wim Hof method again. It wasn't as it was yesterday. Uh, I did get the tingling sensation. I did get uh, myself kind of in the zone, but it wasn't the same. I think I was overthinking, overanalyzing, expecting to get there. And when I didn't get there, I think I changed my breathing pattern, changed the way I did things. So, of course, it didn't get the same effect. Uh, push-ups were lower, and my overall retention, so when I breathed out uh, and had no oxygen in my body, my overall push-up count was down. I usually I do push-ups after my last set of breathing. Yesterday I got 50, today I got 42. So not a huge drop. Uh, but noticeable <clears throat> now after that uh did go into meditation and it was a little different it's a guided meditation so you have the instructor there taking you you know step by step not necessarily saying a lot of words maybe in the beginning but as the meditation you know lengthens or goes on he talks less and less to allow you to get into the zone or get to where you need to get to, want to get to, end up going. <clears throat> so <clears throat> as part of visualization, one of the techniques that uh, he uses and has us try and use, we're supposed to imagine a beam of light or some sort of light kind of appearing, right? Uh, this light encircles us and then we are to imagine someone we love a close one becoming happy or imagine their happiness that which in turn makes us happy and makes the whole phase or all the whole time period great <clears throat> now in the past i've done it sometimes i get good results sometimes you get uh not want to say bad results but different results ones i weren't expecting uh, the other day a couple days ago i got a different result uh, it was one I wasn't really expecting kind of uh, not necessarily sad but not necessarily happy uh, today kind of similar right it was different I imagine I'm sitting on the beach and you see the Sun poke out of the horizon like far off and as it juts out the instructor says now then imagine it filling up the area with light so this light then shines across the whole horizon and kind of as it proceeds to keep appearing or keep rising it just completely blinds me after which as it i want to say recedes up but you could say recedes up as it gets a little higher off the water, you see the silhouettes of the Empire State Building, of the pyramids, of like the greatest landmarks in the world, like a city. They just appear on the horizon, but they're all dark. Of course, they're silhouettes. And as the sun keeps rising, or this light keeps rising, you see kind of this dark sort of blade-like figure, uh, I'd say, it reminded me of the Eye of Sauron from uh, Lord of the Rings. It wasn't a gleaming uh, red eyeball, but that kind of, uh, I'd say the pupil, the retina, the, the right in the center of the flame or the eye, right? How it was kind of black and how that zeroed out to make the actual eye as well as the fire around it. That's what it was. It was just that single kind of blade-like figure. And then around it, it was kind of a inflamed or smoldering, smoking, I don't know. It was arising. So definitely not the type of happiness that I thought I'd be picturing. It was really weird. It was almost dark. Very dark, actually. Not almost. It was dark. Didn't necessarily leave me sad, but left me confused to how my mind could take me there without me ever thinking of a negative thought, right? It just appeared and trying to come out of it trying to refocus myself didn't make it go away because i was focused that's what my mind came up with that's what 
instead of imagining someone I care about that's happy, that's what I imagine. And then having my mind wander and then refocus, I would just focus on that. I mean, that's what was I was focusing to. I couldn't imagine someone being happy. I couldn't imagine anything else. I wasn't necessarily sad, like I said. It was just confusing. The fact that your mind can take you into these different parts that you weren't expecting to get to when you weren't even thinking anything, really. I could have gone completely opposite direction and been completely happy or been really, really sad. But I'm here, I'm confused to the fact that I was able to kind of dream this dark place, think of this dark place. Uh, surprising. So it left me feeling after I got up, moved around, not necessarily contemplating my thoughts, but realizing that your mind's a powerful, I wouldn't say muscle, wouldn't say organ, figure. I mean, if you had to quantify three different things, right, in your body or in your psyche, uh, there's one, obviously, your body. There's the the physical, that's what we'll call the, your body. Then there's your mind, I, w- I would assume, the mental game. Then the spiritual game. Obviously, spirituality is what it is, whether you're religious, whether you find meditation to help you out. Um, and like I already stated, your mind how it can just process different things. It can kind of take you to places you'd expect that benefit you, both in positive and negative ways. So I'm just left here bewildered, confused as to how I was able to get there, how I'm left feeling and how I'm going to process it throughout the day, and how I'll meditate tomorrow if now that I'm actively going to think of that figure, will it happen again? Will it get darker, or will it go away? Will it be something else entirely? I have no idea. But that's where I'm at. 